Hi friends, it's Deanna here today and we're working on the dashing dress and um, yes, so I'm excited I'm going to do the collar and I'm doing the just a straight skirt, gather skirt, uh, but there are so many options. I am going to do the cuffs, uh, I'm going to do the longer sleeve, uh, but there are so many options to this dress. You can do long sleeve, you can do sleeveless, you can do... Um, cuffs, no cuffs, you can do uh, rounded collar or pita paint collar, uh, I mean um, more of a triangle like collar, you can do a circle skirt, you can do a straight skirt, I'm doing a straight skirt, um, I think it's kind of like I'm doing like the mo most difficult ones just so that I can show you all the different options. So before I get started though, let me remind you of our fun fan giveaway of $50 Alien Mag gift certificate that happens every month. Um, all you have to do is make sure you're subscribed. If you're not, stop, go subscribe, and comment below and let us know that you subscribed. Um, give us a comment, give us a shout out, and um, you'll be entered on our drawing in our drawing. So just uh, go ahead and do that so you can be our next winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. All right, let's get started sewing because that's what you're here for. So I've got my bodice and I got my front bodice and we're going to attach our front bodice to our back bodice. And what we're doing is meeting at the shoulders, right sides together at the shoulders. I'm using my serger for this step, but um, if you don't have a serger, a zigzag stitch or a stretch stitch will do you just fine. Lightning bolt stitch, any kind of stitch. And we're going to serge or sew those raw edges together to put that bodice together. I teach. So this is like really neat because it's such a cute dress. And but you can dress it up or dress it down for work, so yeah, I love it. Love, love, love it. Okay, now that we did our shoulders, we're going to go ahead and attach our sleeves on. If you're doing, if you're doing, um, uh, sleeveless with bands. You would go ahead and sew the sides together, which will be our next step. You would sew the sides together and then you would attach the bands on. Um, if you do not know how to attach the bands and you're doing bands, we have a video um, here on our YouTube page, which is all about bands. It's called, I think it's called Bands, 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 and it shows you um, how to attach all those bands. So if you wanna head on over there and I'll show you exactly how uh, I attached those armbands, some bands on there. So, um, and you would just attach them because it'll just be like the circle, the, it will be like a circle arm. Hole. But since I'm doing sleeves, what I'm doing is I'm going to grab my sleeve. I did it to this one, but I'm going to show you on this one. I'm going to match up my sleeve at the front and go all the way to the back, the top. And I'm going to make a little notch right there. Not, I just, just a little tiny snippet that will be eaten when I sew it, but it'll just give me a mark of where I need to go. And I'm gonna meet that at the top of our, um, of our, uh, where our shoulder seam is, of our arm side, arm side. And we're gonna go down the side and keep going all the way down to the end. Then in as we go, those right sides together at the raw edge. Right sides together at the raw edge. All right, and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna go ahead and pin the other sleeve as well just because that is how I rolled and that way I can sew them both on at the same time. We don't have to play any games with the sewing machine. I mean, well, I'm using a serger, but if you're using a sewing machine, what abs? What abs? 
know some people say they're scared of a serger, but I'm telling you, if you can afford it, a serger is such a lifesaver and such a, a time saver when it comes to knits. It's just so easy to just zip with a serger. All right, here we go. Um, I'm going to go ahead and sew those, sew those raw edges together. Just said the same thing over twice. Sew those, sew those. Sew those raw edges together. All the way. My arm is telling me it's about to turn off. It's turning off. It's quitting on me. Why are you quitting on me? Sorry. I'm going all the way around on my sleeve. Almost there. Ooh. Almost killed my tomato. And I'm going to do the same thing on my other sleeve. So then that way both will be attached. there. I guess I could have just uh, turned you off and done this on my own, but I know you all like to sew with me, right? You like to sew every single step together. I can read your mind. I know it. Okay, so I um, sewn on, arm side, arm, arm, blah, 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 sleeves are on. Now, because I am doing cuffs, I'm gonna go straight to sewing the sides. If you're hemming, you may wanna do a memory hem first uh, before you sew the sides, but I'm just gonna go ahead and sew those sides together. So right sides together, I'm gonna meet right at the, arms, uh, the armpit and go down the sleeve. Go down the arm, meeting those raw edges, right sides together, and go down the side, the waist area, the waist area, and I'm going to do the same thing for the other side, but like I said, if you're doing um, no bands, <laughs> I just threw it on the floor, if you're doing no bands and you want to do a memory hem, what is a memory hem? You would grab your arm. You would fold it up to the wrong side half an inch and you steam. And then that way, once you're done sewing your sleeve on, um, it's, it's already there. Your, your folded edge is already there and it kind of, it's easier to hem that way. So if you want to do that, because it's always easier to steam when it's laying flat than when it's like on the round. So that is why they give you that option. So I'm going to go ahead and sew those raw edges together. And that will make our top. Basically, our top will be on the side. I am making the long sleeve version because winter's coming. Winter will be here before I know it. Oh my. Oh, I can't believe I cut that. Did you see that? You hate it when that happens. Does that happen to you sometimes? My thread just got caught on itself on the actual little tubey thing it comes on, whatever that's called. Let me know below what it's called if you know what it's called because I have no idea. It got caught on the tubey thingy that it comes in, the thread dispenser. And um, sometimes when it does that, it gets real, real tight. And then it, it like cuts my, my uh, fabric, my cuts my thread and I'm like what in the world is going on and I'm like why is it doing this and then I'm like so annoyed and then my my surgery comes unthreaded and everything I get mad I get angry I don't know what's going on and then I realize oh no my dumb comb got stuck is that what it is comb yeah got stuck and ruined my groove <laughs> you threw off my groove okay so I'm going to turn it right side out 
and we're gonna do cuffs oh this would be like a such a cute crop top already Ooh, you know what literally if you want to do a crop top and put the little color on and um, just hem it mm, there's an idea see this is why I like to sew with you all because you give me the greatest ideas okay my cuff I'm gonna go ahead and do this I've got my cuff right uh, out we're gonna put it right sides together at the short ends um, well meh, I don't know if they're short tall at the side ends so the greatest stretch is going this way at the grain parallel to the grain line so I'm gonna go ahead and sew that together to make it one continuous cuff now I'm going to fold it wrong sides together so the right side is out and meet at the seams semi seam seams okay and meet at the raw edge up here so the raw edges are together and I'm gonna attach one of the cuffs I'll do the other cuff later but for sake of time I'll just do one right now so you can see it here's my cuff my arm I'm gonna fit my cuff right into it and first I'm gonna meet my raw, I mean, sorry. I'm gonna meet my uh, seams together right here. And then what I like to do is I'll grab the cuff and the arm and I pull tight. Hold on, come on. I want the raw edges to meet up. And then I'm gonna pull and where it comes stretched out here is the other side. And then I'm gonna sew it on, pulling just a little bit um, so that they're both even, so that they get on, they attach evenly. Ah, I pulled it. So I like to do a little bit of surging first before I start pulling so that it doesn't just come off like it did just now. sure that they match up and make sure that they both all three layers of fabric are together my um cuff is wanting to fold because it's uh it's cotton lycra and cotton lycra sometimes likes to be a little bit timid all right my cuff is on and I'm going to steam it and I'm not gonna put my other cuff on right now it's right here but I'll put it on afterwards so I can sh I, I just wanted to show you one cuff but it's gonna be exactly the same thing again for the other cuff all right so now that my cuff is on and my man that would be such a cute crop look at that with the cuff and everything I might have to do that next okay so now I'm going to um, grab my color. We're gonna work on our color. If you're going to do interfacing, this is where you will do it. I guess I could have done it beforehand. Just applying the interfacing to my color. And if you're not doing interfacing, then this is where you would skip the step. I am so funny. That's my husband would say, funny looking. He's so mean to me. He really isn't mean to me. I am, I am totally, completely joking. We play around a lot. He is a sweet husband. I don't want you thinking, oh, that poor woman. She has a horrible husband. I don't. We tease. I tease him as well. We have a happy relationship. We have been together for a very long time. I have, hmm, yeah, never mind. All right, so <laughs> I'm gonna put my color face up, right side up, and I'm gonna grab my, uh, that's my back, this is my front, of, this is my uh, outer, and I'm gonna put it right sides together at the sides, at the edges, the raw edges, the short raw edges. 
to make it one continuous color. And I did the same for my other side already. So if you have seen any of my other videos and I've always talked about how there's construction going on across the street from me, well, I just talked to the person in charge of our neighborhood and he told me there is coming another, more construction right across the street from our house. So I'm like, I had a break for a couple of months of no construction and now I'm like, it's going to start over and I'm going to be really distracted because it's going to be like right there. But it's okay because that's, I think, the last of it right in front of me. So I'll be back to being normal. Okay, so now I've got both of my colors. I did the same for my liner. So it's like one round continuous thing. And I'm going to put it right sides together on top of each other. Yes. I'm like getting confused. What am I doing? I got it. I got it. I got it. All right, and we're gonna sew around the outer edge. So we're gonna pin at the seam. We're sewing all the way around the outer edge. And since this is very delicate, it's a very, um, you know, you wanna make sure that it's nice. And I am doing my sewing machine. And I will tell you this, I am doing a straight stitch and you'll say, but it's a color, it needs to stretch. Yes, it needs to stretch, but I think, and um, hopefully I'm not lying to you, it will be fine. Why do I think it will be fine? Because what needs to stretch is really the inside of the color, right here is where it needs to stretch. So the outside, the part that's laying flat will be fine because it's the inside, it's got to stretch. Sorry, my interface is coming out. And um, so I'm thinking that it will be fine because the inside, this part right here, I am going to sew with a stretch stitch, but this is not going to have to stretch at all once it's laying flat on you. So I am one, I'm thinking I'm just going to do a straight stitch on my sewing machine. And I'm going to go all the way around it. I'm going to have to make it a little bit looser. There we go. I'm going all the way around. Uh, then after you're done doing this, back in with your uh, scissors and just trim around. Okay, I'm coming to the front right now and I'm going to go up where the V is and then go down so that way it has the shape. So I go up, stop at the top, turn around and go down. So it has the shape of, that I want on the front of the collar. I don't want to lose that awesome shape. And I'm using my fingers to guide it slowly. Um, I have a tense grip on it because I want to make sure that I'm guiding it straight. piled up right here all right so now I want to see like right here there's a little bit a lot of edge stitching and some uh, of my what do you call it interfacing is poking out I'm cutting it out um, you want to go in if you want to go in with like uh, those scissors that I always forget the name of those scissors sharing scissors I'm not sure what they're called those scissors that are kind of like, uh, have like the, like the 
triangle, make the triangle thingies on it. You can do that, or you can just go in with your scissors and pinning scissors, right? You can go in with your scissors and do the triangle shape on them if you want. Especially when you get to like right here where it does the round. And right here where I'm gonna clip just a little bit at the corner so it kind of opens up when I turn it. And now I'm gonna go ahead and turn it. I'm gonna cut a little bit more here. Don't cut your, what you um, sewed though. So do what you sewed, dough. Ah, I didn't sew very close to the. I sewed too close to the edge here. See, I can see it when I look on this side, but I didn't see it when I looked on the other side. I'm gonna fix that before I turn it over, because I don't want to be able to. Have, I don't want to have a hole there. Ah. All right, I'm doing it again. And since I did that, I'm gonna check everywhere else again and just make sure. I'm gonna I'm gonna do this again right here just for the sake of my sanity. I wanna make sure that it's cut all the way. Yeah. I just wanted to make sure that it's all the way cut before I go doing that okay now I'm gonna flip it over make sure you check it all the way around so that when you go to flip it over you don't have a hole like I just did like I just did I just fixed it and that's okay that is a-okay I um I like to show you when I mess up because I want you to see that it's so normal. It's okay that it's not 100% perfect. It's okay that it's not 100% perfect on the first try. It's okay it's not 100% perfect on the 10th try. But that means that you still don't give up. You keep trying to get better every single time. It's okay. And with sewing, I really have had to let go of some of my insecurities of thinking that, you know, that's not perfect. That's not right. That's looking hideous, you know, and get, cut myself some slack on some things. Anyway, I think it looks pretty amazing. Look at that. That's awesome. So our um, color is now ready and prepped to go onto our dress. So we've got our top and we're gonna find, match up those shoulder seams, to the, the shoulder seams and then go to the back. And I'm gonna do a little notch. It's gonna be my side, my back, and then I go to the front and that's my gonna be my front. And then um, I'm gonna match up front and back and that will be you know what I think the shoulders this is the shoulders right here so I have the seams for the shoulders so that's good I'm gonna match up my front and back here and you know what I want to trim some of this interfacing so here's my front right here I'm gonna trim a little bit of this interfacing because I don't want it to trick me into thinking that I attached it on right and then I didn't okay so now I'm gonna fit my color in, and what I'm doing is, see which one, I'm, which one is my front? I don't think it really matters. But I want the right side of the color to touch the wrong side of my dress. So if this is your right side right here of your color, you want that to be inside touching the wrong side of your dress. Okay, so we just fit it into there. And then I'm going to attach at those points I just made. Pin it. Okay. And the shoulder seams. And then my front point. And 
and then my other shoulder seam, okay? So you wanna make sure that the right side of your collar is touching the wrong side of your top, okay? And now it's in there, and now we're going to serge it on. I am serging this on. If you wanna use your sewing machine, this is when you would use a stretch stitch because the collar is gonna have to stretch when you put it on over your head. Right? Right. Make sure you're attaching all of your fabric. And here we are. sure that it all got on and turn yes Ooh, excellent I love it already and I haven't even attached my skirt and I almost want to just leave it without the skirt because I am a weirdo all right so now I'm going to grab my iron and steam it really nice you know what I forgot to tell you? I forgot to tell you that if you want to, after you uh, prep your collar, you can go ahead and top stitch your collar all the way around um, the outside of the collar if you want that look. And the reason why I forgot to tell you is because I don't usually top stitch it. So that's why I forgot about it. But you can top stitch all the outside of it, like around the outside, the edge. And then if you want to top stitch on the inside, you can. Now remember, if you're top stitching on the inside, you want something that's gonna be stretchy. So you can top stitch the outside with a straight stitch, but the inside I would do with a zigzag stitch or some kind of decorative stitch. I've been seeing those a lot lately where people have been using those decorative stitches, you know, like the cute little um, stitches that come in your sewing machine. Yes. All right, if you're attaching a circle skirt, those are super easy. All you have to do is quarter the skirt so part it into four sections, part the, uh, the dress into your, um, you have the two, the two halves, sides, I mean, that's um, half, and then you match those two sides and go to the front and clip, and there's my one, my quarter, and then do the same to the other side, my other quarter, and then you would just do that same thing to your skirt, and you would attach it right sides together. I'm doing the straight skirt. So what I'm doing first is I'm going to grab my skirt and I'm gonna open it up. And I'm gonna grab my side and I'm gonna put my two sides, right sides together. Both sides, right sides together. And I'm going to sew those sides together. And I'm going to sew my other side together as well. So one side and then the other side. So the sides together. Ooh, all of a sudden I'm getting real hot. It's because my, honestly, one of the reasons why is because I'm wearing slippers. Why am I wearing slippers, you ask? I don't know. I like to wear slippers. I'm gonna take them off. They're actually like fluffy slippers. <sighs> Much better. All right, here we go. Sorry, I'm a little crazy. And because the sun is beating in my window right now, it's getting hotter and hotter by the minute. All right, I'm sewing the sides together. Ugh. I'm using my serger. on your sewing machine, that's fine. That is always okay. And I'm gonna do the other side. Sew it together. 
two sides are sewn together I'm going to grab my skirt the top of my skirt and gather it the width of my bodice so here's my bodice and this is how wide it is and obviously my skirt is a lot wider than that so I'm going to how I'm going to gather it is by doing a straight stitch on my sewing machine, a basting stitch, a long basting stitch. So I'm going to go ahead and gather it. Um, you can use whatever form of gathering you'd like. I do a straight stitch and I go all the way around and I pull and gather. Um, but you can do um, however you want to do it. But what I like to do is I like to grab my skirt and quarter it first. So here's my two side points. Here's my front. And why I like to do that is because then once it's gathered, I can separate my skirt into four sections of gathers and then I can even out my gathers better because it'll be like one section, another section, back and front, you know, so I got my even section. So let me go ahead and gather and to the sides of the skirt and then we'll come back to put it on. All right, so I've got my skirt gathered the width of my bodice, as you can see right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my bodice. And I'm going to, actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to fit, because I don't want to mess too much with my skirt gathers. I don't want them to come apart. So I'm going to turn my bodice inside out. And I'm actually going to fit my skirt into my bodice. That way, the right side of my bodice will meet the right side of my skirt. And it's the right side of my bodice is going to be the bottom part of my bodice. So this bottom part of my bodice, the bottom, it's gonna match up to the top of the skirt and I'm gonna match up those points that I made already so my side seams match that up and then my other um, quarters I made where is my quarter it's gonna be somewhere around here I did make one didn't I you saw me make it here it is I think yeah here it is all right, there's my quarter, so that's where that's gonna go. And then my other side, right here. I'm gonna turn it so I don't uh, compromise any of their folds. And I'm going to look for the other one right here. So now that it's pinned in four even sections, I can go ahead and even out those ruffles. Because I know all of these need to be in this section. So I'll make sure that they're even. And pin. And for this part, I'd say, however many pins you feel comfortable with. Uh, if you're not comfortable with uh, gathers, pin away. Pins are your friend right now. Pins, clips, whatever you have. Um, yes. You want to make sure that the gathers are pinned nicely because if not, then they're not going to be even. So that's why I use a little bit more pins on this part of my project than I do on a lot of my other parts of the project. And like I always say, if you are a little bit worried about how they're going to turn out, if they're even or not, um, you can always go ahead and zigzag, do a long, a big zigzag stitch on, stitch them on, and try it on. And then if you don't feel like, oh, you know, that's not, the, the gathers are not as great, then you can always pull that thick zigzag off, you know, and redo them. That is the beauty about sewing your own things thingamajigs watching my call it uh, dresses that's what it is all right so now I'm gonna go ahead and sew the ruffles 
on. I get it. You're done. But you're not. All right, and I start. always start at the back. Sorry, I was talking to my iron. So I talk to everything. You can tell I talk a lot. I do. And my son has now inherited that. He didn't used to, but now he talks all the time. He, he's very shy when it comes to, like, people he doesn't know. But like if he knows you, he will talk your ear off. All right, I'm going all the way around, sewing, going slowly so I can catch all those ruffles. You want to make sure you're catching all your gathers. I keep calling them ruffles. Ruffles, gathers, same thing? Yes, no, maybe? I would say that I would rather have ruffles hanging out a little bit than not have them out enough and they can pull them in. So if for some reason it seems like you're cutting a little bit of your ruffles off, that's okay, but you want to make sure that they're all getting cut in there. So if you need to have them pulled out a little bit, sometimes I... I let them poke out just a tiny bit so that I can make sure that I'm catching them all. Almost there. Take it slow when you're putting um, ruffles on. Because you want to make sure that they're even. Ah, there it went again. There must be like a little loose spot on it. Have to go with that nail pile and pile it down. Ooh, good, 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 good thing I caught it. I don't even know what I was trying to say. Good thing I caught it. All right. So now I'm going to pull the rest of the pins off that somehow managed to stay on there. And pull my bodice out. And there it is. My dress is together. I'm so excited. I love it. I forgot to mention too. See, I am awful. I'm sorry. Um, if you're having, this fabric is sort of light. It's like a light fabric. So it's not very heavy. So I did not do uh, elastic on the waist. If you're working with fabric that's really heavy, you want to do a clear elastic on the waist. So before you attach the bodice to the skirt, you would grab your clear elastic and put it all the way around the bodice um, on the raw, against the raw edge, like uh, rubbing the raw edge, coming to the raw edge, and then zigzag stitch it on all the way. And that will give it, uh, you know, like nice, uh, what is the word? It'll keep it from stretching out and looking all pulled down and weary. So we are basically done. All we need to do now is hem our dress. And for the hem, we have a half an inch allowance. So what I would do is I would grab my dress, I fold it half an inch up and steam, and then I will go ahead and sew it. I do not like to hem my dresses before I try them on usually. So I will go ahead and try it on and then hem it. But if you want to go ahead and hem it now, you may. Um, also with knit fabric, a lot of times if you're using a knit fabric, there's been quite a few times I don't even hem it. Because of the fact that it's, especially when it's a um, um, gather skirt and there's fullness at the bottom, I don't feel like it always needs it. So it's up to you. But we are done. I hope you enjoyed this sew along. Please let me know. Comment below. Let me know if you did. Comment, like, share. And if you haven't followed us on Instagram or Facebook, come join us. We'd love to see what you're making. And we'd like for you to see what everybody else is making so you can get inspired. I hope you have a great rest of your day. And I'll see you all next time.